right, KO Radio fans, we have UFC welterweight fighter Jake Ellenberger on the phone with us today. Jake, how's it going? Everything's great. Thanks for having me. Hey, Jake, you're coming hot off the biggest win of your career against Jake Shields in the main event of UFC Fight Night 25, and it came in less than one minute. Were you shocked by quickly how the fight ended? Um, to be honest, not really. Um, you know, I, I, I think I, I prepared so much for such a hard two-round fight. Um, I knew that was definitely possibly so I mean I'm not I mean I, I I might have been a little more surprised than my my training partners and coaches were but uh, they definitely were great now you're known for having great wrestling and heavy hands was it part of the training game plan to exploit shield stand up or did you focus more on jiu-jitsu defense and defending the takedown Great. Well, speaking of training and injuries, what do you make of the current rash of injuries that is plaguing in the UFC? You know what happens? I mean, I've been through my fair share of injuries. I've been through quite a few. So, you know, it's it's definitely probably the most rough sport there is besides wrestling. I mean, um, injury and people. But I don't think a lot of people understand how hard uh, how hard we train, and you know, you train so much harder. Than, he, than, than the fight usually is. So, I mean, I, I'm actually not surprised. I'm surprised there's not, injuries don't happen more often than they actually do. But, uh, you know, I, I feel for it. I, you know, it happens. And if you, you never want to compete when you're not at your best, then, you know, he's kind of in that situation right now. Mm. Jake, you're on a fight fight win streak, and you're a very exciting fighter. Everybody understands the UFC will make their matchups that they want, but in your perfect world, who do you want to take on next between, say, uh, a Josh Koscheck or a John Fitch? Um, you know, any of the top guys. You know, I, I, I know I can beat any of the top guys. Um, you know, I'm not really sure who they want me to fight next, but uh, there's been some names thrown around. Um, I, I would love to fight Koscheck or Fitch. You know, um, they're, they're, they've been consistently. They've been they've been in the top ten consistently. So, um, like I've told the UFC and, and Joe Silva, so, you know, I'll, I'll fight whoever I have to, to to get my to get my title fight. And in your opinion, what is the best skill set to have in MMA, and why? Hmm. You know, the, the, I could I couldn't just tell you one. Um, that's tough to say. I mean, uh, it, 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 I mean, the higher the higher the higher the competition is, the, the more well-rounded you have to be. I mean, you can't you can't come in the sport just a wrestler. You can't come in just a striker. I mean, um, I, I wouldn't say there's one discipline, but I would say wrestling is, is definitely uh, it's one of the more uh, I should say one of the more valuable um, art forms in the sport. All right, well, you recently posted on Twitter that you were doing a lot of uh, quote-unquote drilling at the Rain Training Center in Orange County. Can you tell the fans the importance of drilling for both wrestling and MMA? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, drilling is, is probably one of the most, the most important things when it comes to any, any form of training. Um, you know, if you start to um, 
form that mess that muscle memory. I mean, anything you know, you can't anything you can do, um, you know, consistently slow. You can you know, you can start doing faster and faster. I mean, when you're in a fight, you don't really just you don't have time to think. And I mean, or or in anything in wrestling, in any contact combat sport, you know, you just you just do what you know, and the only way to ingrain that in your mind is to consistently drill and drill and uh that drilling is is probably the most important thing the most the key to training you know at any at any level of competition the welterweight division is stacked full of wrestlers does this clash of skill set help or hurt your journey to the championship as far as wrestlers Yes, are you? Is it going to help you a little bit more going against wrestlers, or, or do the or does the wrestling kind of cancel it out, and and you're able to use your power? Does it? You think it's going to help or hurt you due to that? Oh, I, I don't think it really matters. I mean, um, I, I, there's, I don't feel anyone's going to stop me from uh, from getting to where I'm going. You know, and I mean there's... You know, there's a lot of talented guys in, in, in the division. I mean, there's good strikers, there's good wrestlers, but, uh, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. I mean, I'm just, I'm just really focused on where I'm going and, and uh, taking it one fight at a time and, you know, staying on, staying on the mission. So, like, yeah, I, I don't know if that really answers your question, but, uh, I don't think it really affects me. Yeah, we're going now. Uh, that's great, Jake. But uh, hey, that's uh, that's all the time that we have for today. Thanks a lot for being a great guest and for coming on the KO Radio Show.